Hey everyone, welcome back to another further tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement a 3D object in our Flutter app. Let's see, we have displayed the fighting drone, fighting drone 3D views. You can see, you can move it, you can zoom it. This type of 3D object interact with user. After this demo, we start our complete video and launch this process entirely. Let's start the complete video. Just create a one stateful widget and after that we add the required plugin for this tutorial. In this video we have used the model viewer plus plugin and after adding this plugin in your system model view plus we require some setup in our system for android we need to add this two line if this line is not there for that go to the android app src main android main test.xml let's see android app src main and android manifest.xml file inside this let's check it i have already added this line you can add this line as well just copy from here and paste it this line is also required but this is already here then we don't need to do anything to save it and leave from here and another is main sdk version is 21 If you want to change it, go to the app level builder gradle. Oh, sorry. Root level builder gradle. And main SDK. Change it to 21. But now I have not changed. Currently, Flutter auto detect the latest version that's why we does not require to change it if you have faced any error then we have changed it otherwise leave it same as well after that we have set up for ios info does inside the info.pdis file we need to add this line this two line iOS runner input.finish you can see paste it here this two line just two line and save it and also leave it from here I have not set up for web and that's it after that inside your scaffold you can use other widget as well but i have directly display model view inside this src we need the 3d object path for 3d object we have used the sketch fab website it's provide us our free 3d object for downloadable and free 3D object go to the downloadable section and you can choose any of them and here is the download section after loading you can see after you can see you can download it from here I have already downloaded I have just used inside the pubspec.yml you need to define your image location i have just an image inside the image location i have i have 3d object we have the different image inside this but you can see i have download three 3d object keep in mind you have only download the dot file 
click it and go to the copy relative path and paste it here after oh this is not capital this is small save it and restart your app you can see we define the auto rotate on view and just set a background color below hundred. You can manually rotate it. Let's zoom this image. You can see this is just wow. That's why we use the 3D image. It's to make the better user experience. You can rotate it in 360 degree let's try another police drone wait until it it takes some time to reload the image we have downloaded the 4k image that's why it takes some time to load you can see you can rotate it you can zoom it By the, this way, you can use the 3D object in your Flutter app. That's it for today's video. I hope you have learned something new in this video. Okay, thanks for watching.